the King's Tower, once a symbol of Boletaria, is now ridden with dragon claw marks, with only the old king watching all from his broken throne. Let's fucking go. Well, this is it. End of Demon Souls. Yay. Right, so this is going to be interesting. I got a few things to do, and I want to culminate it all in like two episodes. So, um, we'll see what I can, uh, what I can do in editing. So, before this part, you've most likely seen me take out the Red Dragon, which only took about three and a half minutes overall with like the actual filming of that. So now we're heading over to go see the king, finally. This is it. So today, with me, I've brought the crushing guillotine axe as a backup. I've got big boy. Compound longbow, plus 10. Due to making it plus 10, that means, for fairness sake, I'm leaving this at plus 9. Now, you might be wondering, why bother? Well, you see, we're going to be having to do quite a bit of sniping. And the target, in particular, um has quite good fire resistance. So, you know. Ah, oh, fuck the lizard. Let's see if we can get him. So, I was an idiot earlier, when I came in the first time, in regards to something I completely forgot. Um, I'll point it out in one sec once I take this lizard. Can't pick it up? Oh, yes I can. So, I'm done. There we go. That should do it. So, I completely forgot. But the thieves. Um, the assassins. Where the thief ring. Hence, their shenanigans. Yeah, if only. There's no tendency events in this world at all. Hence why I should be on neutral, yes. I would be on pure black for the sake of it. But the only problem is, Bior can sometimes get a bit hostile. Um, due to that. So I'd rather not piss him off. Because I'm going out of my way to save him. Boy, those heavy bolts don't help. So yeah, there's meant to be an assassin around here, right? Um, what happened last time was he had the fee ring on, which is why he kind of just popped into reality. Same with the ones in 1-3. Anyway, I've wasted too long trying to do that. I don't know what the fuck he is. Which is a little nerve-wracking to a degree. Lizard Kun. Well, he's gone. Come on, buddy. Hope the assassin doesn't come out of nowhere now. I was going to swing there. Awesome job, me. Oh, great. Uh-huh. But how about... Oh. I see you had that all planned out. Well done, mate. Let's take a bit of this. Clear some room for some more full moon grass. Right, so up here's the assassin that fucked me up. I should probably just keep going. Just ignore him. Yeah, here we go. A lock brick knight, you ain't, comrade. And I'm heavier. Gotcha. Okay, now that's taken care of. Yeah, there we go. How about you eat shit? You mean grass? Neat. I don't even need that. So yeah, one four isn't particularly long. You'll see that in a second. Now we are human, so we are hence open to invasions once again. Um. Also, you'll notice my item burden. Yep. Also, fuck. You'll also notice the fact that I'm wearing the black set. Well, well, you know, that's because I have a lot of arrows. Speaking of which, so I've got a fuck ton of heavy, light, and holy. Well, yeah, rotten. I've got a few holy, but yeah. You know what, we should swap this. I'll be needing that most likely. Nice. So there is a crystal lizard down there. But we're going to kind of just ignore him, it's not worth it. Hey, fat face. 
Come here, Tub. Come on, Clive. You can do it. We've antagonized the other fatty. On one hand, this could be seen to, well, reducing the challenge. On the other hand, I don't care. So let's see, what's the difference here if we use lava? Probably pissed off the lizard. Yo, fatty. Now y'all might be wondering, other than using a dumb accent, why's he doing this? This seems really stupid. Why waste all this time? Well, that was really loud. Come on, fatty. Well, you see, that blue dragon fuck of it was never actually seen in the LP proper. He's gonna swoop in any moment now. So I'd rather soften these, you know, gluttonous ebony swines with their swaying bellies um, up. As in to soften them up. Yeah, okay. Lava bow is not worth it now. Rad. Yeah, here's the cutscene. So I just removed most of the challenge. By being clever. Don't worry, expect me to have to run this a few times. So, that's our target. Now here's the predicament. While I equip my um, Ring of Flame Resistance. Big Boy here is going to fly up there in a few moments. Right, uh, yeah, right about there and block our access to the king. Um, we can shoot him down here, but if we die, well, it's all for naught. So, let's see how we go... F wait, no, hold on. Water Veil. So, this doesn't show up on our defenses, does it? No. But maybe it does. So, let's just learn how this goes. Yeah, yeah. Time to eat. So I forget where the safe spot is, but it clearly is not there. There's the lizard. I forget if there's anything ahead. Really? Well that sucks. Let's uh, let's munch. Alright. How are we doing on white? This must be fucking heavy. Well, you know what? Let's have a peek ahead and just see what lays in white. Because I fucking forget. Because it looks like we're just about there. You know what? Let's do this. So I don't know how many hours it's going to take for this. But we're going to find out together. He's got pretty high poison resistance. So there's a bit of a predicament here. In terms of this motherfucker. So. A certain friend is going to show up. Which is why I'm trying to do this. There we go. Sick. So it took quite a few. But we did it. That might be enough to uh, go get that item now. Um, yeah. I really want to save said friend. Something I haven't done before. You know what, this seems rather safe, so we're just going to do this for a bit. And I, yeah, I'd like to do it for the sake of it. So, we're totally going to be able to. I've got enough resources. It's just going to take a fuck, you know, fucking forever, really. That's the main, that's the main problem here. Now, I could swap over to Lava Bow and try to figure out, like, oh, am I doing more damage? But really, just, quote-unquote, rapid firing like this is probably just going to be the better outcome. So let's see, can I pick up whatever this is? Chunk. That's it? That's fucking lame. I knew that must be it, but still. Anything here? Right, yeah. 
So I haven't gained a single level in between um, episodes. What I ended up doing was using all of the souls I gained from the previous part and from killing Red Dragon Chan was going to 5-2 and buying all those poison arrows you, you've seen me use. So we're going to fuck this guy up for a bit. I'm going to stop talking just so we can, uh, you know, skip to the next part. Alright, so he's moving up, because he's on half health. So this is when we're going to meet our friend. You know him well. There he is! It's our man, Bior. So... Okay, so I've read that once he does that, we gun it. You need some help. Leave a flying lizard to me! Oh shit, we kind of missed that. Oh well. It ain't over, Bior. I'm helping you, man. Let's do this. You fuck. Can we lock onto the lizard? Apparently we can. I don't know if this is fucking working, though. Apparently we can stand a little more forward, I think. He's poisoned. It's working. It's happening. Alright, well, so there was a friend ahead of us, but we'll, uh, we'll deal with that in a moment. I think he is no longer poison. He is no longer poison. So Bior is going to tank this like a ch fucking champ. No problem. He shouldn't have a single problem dealing with this. Can we get the wing? Counting. No, we can't stand there. Good to know. Good to know. We're gonna put this back on. Fuck this, man. Hope this is hitting. This is pretty bad, this angle. Apparently, we are locked. How locked? I don't know. So, Bior's got a fuck ton of health, like I was saying. So, we're actually gonna run down and be a total fucking idiot. There we go. We're gonna do this. Fuck you. I don't know if this is hitting. There we go. Now we're hitting. This is killing the fucking frame rate, ain't it? Oh boy. Get poisoned, you shit. Come on. Yeah, so apparently Bior can totally actually solo the dragon if given the right opportunity. He's poison. He's poison. The only issue is, um, apparently this guy just will, will just regen health. Um, he's tanky enough to fucking deal with this. It's just an issue of, well, yeah, if you if you are not engaged with this fight, Dragon will just be a dick. Well, that sucks. All right. This is not great. This angle is not great. Flag, yeah, you've said that a few times, Bior. I agree, but man. I'm trying to help you out. Who knows if this is even fucking hitting? Well, we got the poison, that's the important part. We're probably gonna do that thing again where I stop talking for a bit and we'll just skip ahead. Because we've got it. It's just a matter of how long is this gonna take. Well, in the meantime, I'm running down here because there's nothing else going on. Night Sword and Shield. So yeah, this door does not unlock, sadly. Feels like that might have been a shortcut in, like, beta or something. I don't know. Fucking, where is Bior? Just kind of chilling. So yeah, as I said, we're totally doing it. 
This is gonna, this is gonna fucking take a while. Um, Lothric Castle, this ain't. to me. May light shine upon our lord and our proud Bolataria. Bolataria! <laughs> hmm. We managed, did we? That leaping lizard was more trouble than expected. No. You go on ahead. You know me. I need a nap. That swooping monstrosity it was quite a drain on me. Well, that's that. Most of the recording session so far, and it's gone. We did it, boys. A bit over 24 minutes this session's been going for, so I'm happy that's dealt with. Rightio. Now, the only problem is what awaits ahead. Ah, oh, shit. That's annoying. I'm stuck with this. Oh, well. Let's, uh, let's put Fragrant on. So, another person. Okay, so this is the spot, is it? Well, I was doing it the lame way. The dumb way. Why can't I interact with this message? It's weird. Let's just make it... Okay. Hmm. That's weird. That's very strange you can't interact with it. Anyway. Guess who it is. Oh, it's you, is it? My father is up above. <laughs> well, what's left of him anyway? He's transformed into a fiendish demon. I began this quest in a search for truth. But it seems I was a fool to even try. Please, kill my father. In his degenerated state, he can only bring peril to the lands. This key... It's the Boletaria Mausoleum. Inside the Mausoleum are my father's two swords, Soulbrand and Demonbrand. Use them to bring an end to this madness. And he's gone. See you, Strava. There's no items. Oh, yep. Yep, this one. Oh. Oh, no. Wonder who grabbed... Who... Oh, no. Wonder who that could be. There we go. Didn't fuck it up the second time. I don't think there's anything over this side, but let's have a look. Yeah, so the last one between us and the king is Estrava himself. Well, demon Estrava. Let's go. I know, what's the point of this good shield if I'm barely even using it? Let's see. How much shit you gonna do, man? Oh. Well, I'm gonna reset and see if I get it. If not, whatever. Nope, turns out he did a Paladin Leroy. Oh well, I think it was just a duplicate of the Sword and Shield, so... I mean, the true Demon Souls has been going on for a while, man, since episode 4. But I guess you are correct. Hit a lever. Right, so yeah, I've got my other smaller axe, should this not go how I hope it does. 
Now there is a cool little trick you can pull with this boss, which I'm not going to be doing. But if you have the thieves ring on, or even better, cloak, you can you can um, hang back while our friend will walk towards us. Uh, he'll turn his back when he doesn't think we're there, and if you walk up nice and quietly, you can cast poison mist. You can do that a few times and beat him that way. You know. Uh, yeah, I think I'll demonstrate it just so I can show you. It'll soften him up a bit, but I'm not really gonna... I'm not gonna, like, cheese him this way. I just like to show it off. Now, I forget exactly how this works. I forget if it's waiting at the entrance or hiding behind there. We're just going to wait here and see what happens. While he does his pimp Jojo walk towards us. Yep, so this is how it works. You just casually walk up. We're gonna cast the again. You just casually walk up and you cast Poison Cloud on him. I don't remember if Death Cloud works. I've never done this before. Like I said, I've fought this guy a few times, but never actually bothered beating him. Now, so just like this. I think it might take a second cast potentially. Maybe it's Death Cloud. Maybe Poison doesn't work. No, it's working, as you can see. Oh well. Yo, King of Ant. Yeah, so he's got some sick chip. Should have brought a certain shield, shouldn't have I? So that's going to be Wrath of God's type body explosion right there. Yeah, Dark Silver. Should have brought it instead, shouldn't have I? This guy's the real deal. That's Wrath of Gods again. I could cow it out and go get the shield, but no. Yeah, so that's got a bigger range than I anticipated. Let's just do this. Okay, no, he's right on me, so uh, no dice. Let's eat up. That's his famous sound effect at this point on in history. So Flame Lurk is almost like the progenitor to Gascoin um, and the Hunter fights. This is the progenitor to like Artorias and such. I, I guess. I just gotta work out the timing. So I'm only gonna require like uh, 25 hits or so maybe. Okay, yeah. That was an accidental push. I've never shown off the push blitz actually, maybe I should eventually. Yeah, okay, it's not really doing that much more, so it's not worth it. We're not going to two-hand. So poison appears to be done. No, or is it whittling him away? Yep, okay, that's salsa. Time to show it off. Level drain. That's his true gimmick in this fight. And we are dead. So I forget exactly how said mechanic works, but we are actually de-leveled. This is the only game that has this mechanic. So let's have a look. 29, 24, 28, 16, yeah. I think he took up one point of endurance. So you know what? I'm going to meet you back here in a moment, outside the boss door. I'm going to go swap over and get some better shit. See you back in about a moment. Or two.
Ooh, pure heart zone. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is just to demonstrate. Lizard is gone for good. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I've uh, taken a page from our friend Gal Vinland's book. We have a dark silver shield. And on top of that, we're wearing the gauntlets and leggings. And we are going to swap over to the ring of magical dullness. So we have ridiculously good magic defense right now. I've also got light weapon to do, to do a bit of extra chip. Yeah, I imagine I cut some of that right. If I didn't, well, good on me. Um, okay, there we go. That was weird. Alright. Now he is likely to do the charge. Go for it, fucker. Okay, yeah, so he, he doesn't care. He's going through it. Too early. Nope. Oh, saved it. I could be dead. So I just went fuck it. I've got all this grass to get rid of. We're taking care of it. Oh. Yeah, that was an accident there. So I'm just going to tank through this like a scrub. Whoops. He's going for the charge. So we're going to play this overly defensively and just manage my stamina incredibly well. Going to play this nice and relaxed. Except for the part where I fucked that up. So the main issue that can occur with this fight is, depending on the level um, he drains from you, you might just not be able to use your weapon anymore. You, you might start fat rolling. Numerous things can occur. Oh, we're probably not going to avoid this. Yeah, I fucking knew it. Ow. It was worth it, though. Would have been dead on a bad roll, I think. Yeah, so this guy's legitimately tough. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. Got lucky there. Oh, not that time, though. Well done, me. Well done, me. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I should touch on uh, what Ostrava was saying. About... His father's sword in the mausoleum. Would have liked it if I could have uh, eaten the grass when I wanted to there. I'm not sure if I can get control of shenanigans, but maybe I am. Um, so... No way we're avoiding this, but I'm going to try it. So our friend here is using a sword known as the Soul Brand. If we went to the mausoleum, we'd, uh, whoa, fuck, we'd meet someone... An old hero, perhaps, who wields, who wields, and will grant us the demon brand. Now, those names might seem reverse, but they're not. The demon brand does extra damage to demons. Um, the soul brand does extra damage to humans. Oh, fuck, he's gonna spam this whole fight now, isn't he? Man, fucking King Alant, come on. I wish I wasn't doing the push so much. Yeah, so he doesn't care what we're doing. He's just going to chip us for days. That's the combo right there. Oh, that's that's the big one. Oh, fuck. No OTG? So I can't actually check what he's drained, lest I just fucking die. So I have a lot of souls, so I, I might just come get them and back out eventually. Assuming I don't get it this time, which I don't think I will, but you never know. So I'm thinking swapping to a lighter weapon might do better. Because this is just meaning the fight's going to last longer, because I've only got a single chance to hit. Okay, roll back. Got it. Not in. Now, I'm expecting if I do manage to do this, it's not because I'm actually good, it's because I'm abusing the health system I said was reasonable at the start of the game. <laughs> uh, with my fucking full amounts of full moon. Because, like, look, I can just fucking tank it. 
this is the true issue with the, with the grass system. It's not as broken as people say, but that doesn't mean it isn't broken. Because, well, it is. Very much so. The fact that I have 99 heals is a bit ridiculous. I really should have got hit by that, I figured, but apparently not. So, I was wrong in my assertion that we can make Soul Sucker um, from his soul. That is totally wrong. We get that from something at the very end of the game, but we can't make that to a new game plus. Sadly, so you won't be seeing it in this LP. Because it means I'd have to do the first level over again. So that was a pseudo OTG just then, because it was hitting me right as I got up. Pseudo OTG, that's a weird phrase, they just kind of bullshitted together. Boy, I'm going to look dumb if this magic resistance isn't helping, but I feel it is. Yes, I feel like I'm tanking more. Okay, oh, whoa. Yeah, no, I'm panic rolling, I'm going to admit. I'm doing a DS3 here, I'm just panic rolling. Yeah, I don't care, I'm just going to eat it. I'm just gonna sit here and eat it in your face. Damn it. That's what I get for eating it. Oh man, I gotta check how many levels I've fucking lost. That'll be the true badge of honor. Come on, you can do it. I'd be interested to know if he is just doing magic and it's too much for me to block or what it is, because I totally forget. Too early. I'm dead. Alright, um, we're going to respawn and check how many levels, of, levels I have lost. I'm going to run in, grab my souls, and uh, do some shit, I think. <laughs> because I'm going to be slamming my head against King Alant for a bit. And you know what? I've got an idea of what we can do as an alternative. Wait a minute. Yeah, so, um, let's just look at my stats again to make sure you guys see this. I've lost two points of endurance and two points of strength. Yeah, so it's proportional to, um, the kind of character you are. So, I don't know the exact, um, mechanics behind it, but because I started as a knight, I'm more likely to lose certain stats than others. It's also, the higher some stats are in relation to others, means you're going to lose more. It's a weird system, I'll be completely fucking honest. And I have not fully grasped it myself. But yeah. I'll see you guys back in a bit. Because I've got a plan. Hey, remember this place? No? Well, remember it now? I remember it. Yeah, it's shit. Let's probably change this ring over. Wait, no, it's the, uh, okay, wait. Is it the Dark Silver Armor doing that? Uh, what's going on? Why do I have that aura? It's weird. It's like I've got a buff stuck on me. Oh, no, it's the regen ring. I'm done. I'm very dumb. How about that? Thou who seeketh the king's sword, I am the old king. Show me thine strength, and the strength of thine souls. Prepare thyself, brave knight. Oh. Radio. Well, let's do this. Swing first. Or don't. Yeah, so this fella over here is quite fucking tanky. Now, we don't need to kill him all the way, thankfully. We just need to get him to, um, well, a quarter. We need to knock a quarter of his health off. We need to, need to get him down to 75%. Can you, uh, knock him down further? Yeah, of course. Um,. The only problem is, when you get to 50, you aggro him for real. well to impress one such as me, young knight. I am old King Doran, and thou hast proven thine strength to me. Go forth, 
and take the king's sword in thine hand. Demon Brand. Demon Brand. So, 1814. No scaling. Weird. Good magic, though, and good physical. The Demon Rending Blade, passed down through the Volataria royal family, is a white blade that forms a matching set with Soul Brand. It is particularly effective on demons. Old King Alant spurned the blade for the way its power increased, the less demonic the wielder soul became. So here's the annoying thing. This thing scales with character tendency. Demon Brand scales the better um your scales better when your tendency is closer to to white. Where do we get Soul Brand from beating King Alant? That scales better when you have a darker soul tendency. So if I hadn't have killed Selen, we would be at max strength. So as you can see, it's a bit stronger than this. So let's just do a damage test. 31. Uh-huh, compared to... Whoops. This. Hmm. So here's the thing with Doran. Like I was saying, we can totally kill him. Um, it's gonna take a while. I don't know if I should, but I'm thinking why not. You can get some backstabs on him though, he's quite, um, yeah, he's quite happy to let you take care, to do some of that. He's not going to talk though. So apparently we can knock him, the only annoying part is, well, he's, as you can see, yeah, we can't target him, and he keeps turning. So there are some fiefring based shenanigans you can pull with this guy. So, I guess I'm fighting him for real. Might have to cut, because this is going to take a bit. Just like the dragon. I am the old king. Darest thou to challenge me? Alright, well. let's show this part at least. Let's see how much he does. Yeah, he does, yeah, he does a lot. Of thine heart, else thou shalt fade. So he can totally lose you, which is pretty cool. Yeah, he does a fuck ton. Can we trade with him? So he healed. That's the main issue here. So let the shenanigans begin. He unfortunately knows where I live. So that sucks. Oh fuck. Oh, I should mention, by the way, um... Somehow I came out of that with more levels. So I'm actually at level 71. Health is now 30. Endurance is now 24. Strength is 30. Just in case I get de-leveled a few times, so I can keep using this bad boy. Speaking of which... Here's a nice little example of the whole stealth mechanic. That I've shown off quite a bit. So we hoist this over our back. Unless he has, like, some fucking super hearing range. We can just... Walk up... And... So this is unfortunately the way you've got to do it. For the most part. A lot of this. So I'll see you in a bit. Radical. So there we go. And we get a trophy for it. A. Hey. Right, so let's have a little fashion showcase. So this shit's gonna be a little heavy. Now I believe this set is known as the Burger King. 
or something along those lines. An old bronze ring held by old King Doran increases stamina recovery rate. The old hero Doran, protector of the royal family of Boletaria, lives on forever as a demigod. Let's have it apart where we killed him. So this armor will not fuck our stamina regen, which is pretty rad. Also, it has really good fire defense. So let's have a look. The bronze mask of the demigod, Old King Doran. There are jewels inlaid in it. The bronze bless a breastplate of the, the demigod, Old King Doran. Jewels. Jewels. Bronze and jewels. Well, there we go. You know how time's convoluted in Laudrin? <sighs> it is in Boletaria too, apparently. So yesterday, yes, yesterday, this is a bit of a weird difference, I know. Um, I beat King Alant, and the Elgato didn't record it. So that was cool. Anyway, the main problem is, because I was starting to back up the save files to the cloud and all that, um, I did a whole test, downloaded it to make sure it worked and all that, um, prior. Um, it meant for 24 hours, I couldn't download it, so I've had to just replay all of this for the last, uh, almost two hours. So this is the 19th now, and I'm gonna go kick King Alliance ass. Oh, for evidence. Oh, well, it's fucking gone, there was the true Demon Soul starts here message and it's fucked off, so, you know. I, I liked it another time. So anyway, this is how I beat him yesterday. Assassin's Mask. Ancient King stuff. We can get rid of the bow. Talisman of Beast we probably won't need, but I'll... Yeah, you know what? We won't. I'll have it in this hand in case I want to cast Flame Toss for some SNI reason. Actually, you know what? No, if I'm going to go for range, it's going to be the bow. Anyway, Ring of Great Strength, Eternal Warrior's Ring. I got all this out because I'm taking no fucking chances. And I grabbed all these because I'm taking no chances. Right, so here we are. Um, when I beat him yesterday, I had a few levels drained as you saw. On my real attempt, I was level 71. So I couldn't be fuck fighting Doran um, legit. So I just fucking plagued and poisoned him. And uh, let him die a miserable death. So yeah, that was cool. Anyway, here's the real fucking evidence. Now, I'm not necessarily that pissed off because, oh no, I had to play more Demon Souls. But, given I wanted to finish it yesterday, it was a bit of a bummer. So, first and foremost, you'll notice I ditched all the magic resistance stuff. Because, yeah, he doesn't really. Um, oh, sorry, he doesn't really use magic resistance bar those few moves, one of which is Soul Sucker, so who gives a shit? You're going to notice a move I didn't do yesterday, but I'm going to do now. Also, we've got Flame Toss just in case. So, when he goes for this big fucking Wrath of Gods, um, there's something different I'm going to do. So, I've been told the best way to deal with him is just get far away and bait it out. Yeah, bait out the charge. Yeah, he's going to do that, which will cause that little wave. Okay. Waited too late there. Yeah, so you know what? I am a liar. He is doing magic damage. Let's see how much this does. Oh, fantastic. Was not worth it at all. Now, I'm not even exaggerating where I'd say I'm... I've had more trouble with the land than some Dark Souls 3 bosses. Because he's legitimately tough. Here we fucking go. Eat shit. Yes, that's what I should have been doing every single fucking time. I'm, I'm an idiot. I forgot. But to a degree, I didn't forget because I don't think I ever properly knew. So, you know, thank you, tips from 11 years ago. You were of great help to this playthrough. So yeah, we are in exactly the same position I was yesterday, bar two extra levels because no de-leveling has occurred. And hopefully won't, but it probably will, let's be honest. 
on my perfect run yesterday, I didn't lose a single um, level, but I'm expecting I will here. Um, yeah. So the main fi the main difference that occurred was I actually got invaded while sniping the blue dragon. Um, guys seemed alright. I lost, by the way. Um, Great Axe is not a great PvP weapon. Yep, this is what I expected. I don't know why I'm bothering to mash. I don't think we can get out of that fast enough. So, will he... Okay, we'll have to check what he drained. It's probably that level of endurance I popped in just before we left. Well, I left, rather. I just say we to sound inclusive. Did he just fucking cancel out a soul sucker? If so, animation cancels. He's got white hair, and he has a sword used by demons. You don't think? Maybe we can't kill him, for he is subhuman. Heal your wounds, get stronger, lad. Then we'll settle the matter. Okay, I think I've got this. Unless I completely fuck up. Go for the wrath of gods one more time. No, he's going for the charge. Which is fine. Yeah, so I figured it out yesterday. Um, also, I have the ability to cancel out of my own thoughts, apparently. Okay, no, we're getting away. Fuck this. Um, it was too too far gone at that point. Um, the fuck was I going to say? Yeah, that's right. I realized in my good attempt yesterday, what's happening is there's a bit of a buffer on after your um, block for your actions, it appears to be, at least. That's how it feels. That is about the perfect way to finish that. Huzzah! Fuck yeah. Well, we did it. That's it. Game over. How did you defeat my precious demon? No human has an appetite for souls such as you. The rest is up to the old one. If it is to be, then you shall be back in again.